Casey Neistat is one of the most successful YouTubers in the world and is best known for his incredible storytelling. I took a closer look at his videos and binge watched a bunch of them and I was able to identify three strategies that explain why Casey's videos are so successful. In this video, I'll show you how Casey manages to captivate his viewers to the point where they simply can't look away and most importantly, how you can apply these principles to your very own videos. And at the end, I'll even give a bonus tip. Casey is undoubtedly the master of show don't tell on YouTube. This principle is essentially the golden rule of filmmaking, which means that it's always better to visually show something rather than just explain it with words. Imagine if Casey made his vlogs by just sitting in front of his camera for 10 minutes without any cuts, telling everyone about his day. That would honestly be incredibly boring. However, by clearly showing what he does, Casey is able to build a much stronger emotional connection with his audience and his story. Instead of saying, I drove across the country, he shows this. I didn't know what I was doing till I was doing it. First stop, second fill up. And with this approach, he not only conveys the simple information that he drove across the country, but also the emotion that comes with it. This increases the likelihood that a viewer will watch the video all the way through instead of tuning out because the viewer suddenly becomes emotionally involved in the content. But show don't tell is also incredibly important for credibility. Simply stating, I dressed up as Santa Claus and flew through the air with a drone wouldn't be believable. So it's better to show something like that. Of course, that was an extreme example. But if I were to make a video showing you how to take good photographs without showing any of my own photos and just claiming that I can take good pictures, it would seriously undermine my credibility. Why is the use of text so incredibly effective? Well, when words appear on our screen, it's almost impossible not to read them. I mean, you just read this, right? Casey even takes this to the next level though. Because instead of using digital text overlays, he uses handwritten text in most cases. You might think that he only does that because it's much easier to quickly jot something down on a piece of paper than it is to animate the text, but there's actually more to it than that. By using this analog approach to text instead of a digital one, he draws us even more into his reality and we associate the handwritten text much more with him as a person than we would with some abstract text animation that was added to the video afterwards. However, However, you have to decide for yourself whether this technique actually makes sense for your channel. For my channel, which deals with animation and specifically also text animation, it would undermine my credibility if I suddenly started using only handwritten text. The next technique is again one that Casey is an absolute master at. Like, now, now, all I want is like some degree of normalcy. Have you figured it out already? Casey is constantly changing his scenes. There are hardly any videos in which he sits at the same place for more than a few seconds without changing the camera angle. This keeps us as viewers engaged because there are constantly new images to look at and interpret. And the way Casey handles this has another decisive advantage. Although this is much more difficult to film because he constantly has to move himself and his camera from point A to point B, it's much easier to edit because he can simply string together all of his clips and still have a video with constant scene changes. Most other YouTubers, including myself, tend to rely on editing to create constant scene changes by showing b-roll footage or even just zooming in and out of the image to keep it lively and moving. The current trend in many cases is to use really extreme editing, like all of the Mr. Beasts on the world, where the scene changes incredibly quickly with text, explosions and who knows what else. Casey, on the other hand, uses simple cuts from one scene to the next and achieves the same result. Bonus tip! One of the most important principles that Casey preaches again and again is get the shot. Or in other words, the best camera is always the one you have with you. You can see from Casey's videos that he doesn't fuss over the perfect settings or has to have the absolute perfect lighting setup every time. And he often just shoots footage with his phone. Because all of these things are nice to have and might make the video look a little bit prettier, but they don't necessarily contribute to the story. So they aren't a priority for Casey. Story is king. Everything serves the king. All of this is just here to serve the story. Because if we get caught up trying to create the perfect shot, we often miss the one that's actually important for our story. 